Hello, my name is Susanna and I'm an international student at the University of Stirling and today I'm going to take you along with me on my trip to the Isle of Skye in Scotland. One of the great things about going to university in Stirling is that it's so close to the Highlands, making it a great starting point for students to have weekend trips. On our first night, we drove from Stirling to Fort William, taking us 2 hours and 20 minutes. Once we got there, we got dinner at a local pub and headed to our Airbnb where we spent the night. Where are we? Fort William, Scotland. And we are at the restaurant <laughs> called The <laughs> This is our food. Our first stop when driving into Skye was the famous Eileen Donan Castle, and apologies if my pronunciation isn't right. The castle had a little balcony, and this is my dad pretending he's the king. <laughs> But this is our view. Very, very. <laughs> Where are we? Fort Tree. In Fort the Isle of Skye. Fort Tree? Fort Tree. Fort Tree. We drove into the main village in Skye called Port Tree for a coffee and to buy some groceries before heading into our new Airbnb for the rest of the trip. We got a coffee. I got a vanilla latte. Americano. And that got an American. <laughs> Our Airbnb was in a farm, which was so nice and pleasant. They had sheep, dogs, and a cat to welcome us. Just quickly showing our Airbnb, the host gave us fresh eggs, this is a kitchen, living room, my dad, this is my room, very nice, this is the view from my room. And then this is my dad's room. Hello. 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 <laughs> You're so cute. Hello. In the morning, we made pancakes with bacon, maple syrup, and believe it or not, we love it with custard on top. It might be a controversial opinion, but please try it. It's really good. After our breakfast, we went to this beautiful cliff with a beautiful waterfall. I'm not gonna attempt to pronounce the name because I'll just embarrass myself, so I'll just pop it on the screen for you. I'm not even wearing a jacket. Me neither. <laughs> <laughs> that trail was beautiful but quite tiring so we picked something that wouldn't take that much effort to do before heading back home The next morning we had a full English breakfast of course, my dad loves black pudding but I don't. I guess you should still try it as it's a very traditional thing to have in Scotland. Another thing about Skye is that you have to be very careful when you're driving because there are always going to be sheep in the middle of the road so you just have to be patient and wait for them to move to the side. It's really windy! <laughs> Up 
apologies for leaving the sound on i just wanted to show you how windy it was and this is the way down on the trail to the lighthouse and the views were just simply the best i think this was my favorite place so far the views are so beautiful i can't stop filming It's very steep, so we're in water. After the lighthouse, we came to this beach called Coral Beach, and it was so beautiful. We are having pizza outside. Mm. And this is the view. We are now going to Ferry Pools and the day is really beautiful, sky is blue, sun's out. Say hi, Dad. Hi, Dad. Just went for a swim in the fairy pools. There are other people swimming too. My dad did it because he's old and boring. And <laughs> Loads of people swimming here too. The water is quite cold, but refreshing at the same time. We are now making our way back to the car park. Yep. And this is the view. And the car park is over there. That's sadly the end of our trip and that's us driving home now. I hope you enjoyed this video and I hope it gives you inspiration for when you visit Sky.